Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Evans, and this, this is Locker Room Doctor. In this episode, I'm gonna show you what to do when a teammate goes down with a cardiac arrest. This doesn't look good. So Pete's gone hey, down, hey. looks serious. Hey guys, guys, Pete's hurt. So he's unconscious, his heart may have stopped, what we call a cardiac arrest. Come on, are you okay, man? Wake up. Cardiac arrest is when the heart's getting the wrong signals and it starts beating erratically and, and can actually stop beating. Pete, man, come on, come on, dude. Sometimes that can come from a heart attack where the heart's just not getting enough blood supply, but sometimes it can happen out of the blue. What's important to know is both of those can kill you. Guys, I think he's having a heart attack. Does anybody know CPR? This is one of those moments we all fear. Somebody goes down, you really want to help, but you don't know what to do. Do we know if there are like those paddly things? Found this. They should be able to figure this out. Hey man, I, I don't even know how to use this and I don't think it even matters because I think he's dead. Okay guys, bring it in, let's go. So three things when somebody is unresponsive. First, get your teammate to call for help, 911. Secondly, start CPR. Okay, let's just say you didn't want to do mouth to mouth with Pete. The good news is that the science of CPR has shown that almost all of the effectiveness comes from the chest compressions. How fast? Faster than you think, 100 compressions a minute. Third is early defibrillation. So every minute this is delayed, the death rate goes up by seven to 10%. And to demonstrate this, let's bring in a 12 year old. Hey, Angus. In fact, when we drop AEDs into a room of 12 year olds, they basically have a 100% success rate at using the AEDs correctly. It's pretty simple. So you open the machine, it talks to you, it actually tells you what to do. Begin by removing all clothing from the patient's chest. It'll tell you, for instance, just to pull out the sticky pads and apply them to the bare skin of the patient. And it'll actually tell you where to put them. And each of those pads has a lead and, and that actually reads your heart rate. Analyzing. And actually decides, oh, I need to give Pete a shock. And then the machine shocks the patient. It may tell you to resume chest compressions. And while you're doing that, it's actually reading the heart rate of, of Pete. And it'll maybe escalate the power and shock him again. <laughs> that feels better. Yeah. You guys couldn't figure that out? He's 12! <laughs> so that's it. Pete lives another 40 years, scores a few more goals, and teaches grandkids how to skate. Coach, pull me back in. No, not a good idea. Okay, boys, let's save some lives. Yeah! yeah.